Welcome back. Thank you, man. Yeah. Why coming back? Bro? Why coming back? Yeah. Uh, you know, man, um, Illinois has been my family for a long time. Um, you know, been a part of my recruitment process. You know, it was, it was my favorite, obviously, I came here. Um, you know, I feel like I created so much like great relationships on and off the court. You know, um, this is where I'm going to cement my legacy, man. You know, this is where I came. I'm building my legacy right now. Another year, Illinois, this is going to give me an opportunity to go up, up, above and beyond, you know. What does legacy mean to you? Like, why is that important to you? It means everything, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, it's very rare you see a kid go to college and you know you get the, the opportunity that I get and did, did the things that I did, you know. So, like, I just figured like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna come back, be as, get a, get a, as, as better as, as much as possible. And, you know, just grow with this with, with this team. I think it's a really good group of guys. I mean, I did my own, own little deal on them where I, I looked up their game and looked at what what they played like and stuff like that. So, I really think it's a good team. And for a moment, some people thought you might play elsewhere. Like how real did that become? Uh, you know, I never really focused on it a lot. You know, um, I was basically a head on going to the NBA. So I, I never really focused on like that part. But it came down to the deadline where I was like, oh yeah, I might consider coming back to college. So I just wanted to leave my options open. But I never really thought about it that much. You know, Illinois has been my home, and you know, it's going to continue to be my home for a long time. What was that what process was that? like where, I mean, you were all in on the NBA just to maybe make that decision? It's like, it's not maybe the time. Yeah, um, yeah it, was, it was a really good process. I learned a lot of good things. You know, I heard something that I need to work on. It was a really good process for me. I'm um, just like mentally, like, being able to, like, acknowledge that this is what I need to do, this is where I have to be, this is where I have to go right now. You know, and I just have to, like, it must be an ego check, you know, like, you gotta check your ego sometimes, you know, like, right, you know, this is maybe not the best, this is not this is for you. You could put yourself in a way better situation, you know, you just take your time and, you, you know, you slow down. What do you make, sir, is the best feedback you got? The best feedback? Yeah, I'll be a team. I mean, a lot of teams told me that I'm ready to play right now, you know, whatever this is my size and I give them the ability, but, I don't want to settle for that, you know. I want to, I want to be a good, I want to be great, you know. I want to keep growing my game. And if I can grow, grow my game and, you know, get higher, higher, so be it. What are some of those other things you can add another year in college and what they can bring out of you here in Champaign? That's my pit, be better than the past, you know, showcase that some more. Um, you know, just like IQ level, show that. You know, I'm always on the field when I'm being They need big guys to dominate the class, so that's, that's, that's the main focus right now. Okay, how exciting is it for you to be able to increase your own legacy for name image likeness? Have you started to reach out to companies or had companies reach out to you in that aspect yet? It's surreal, man. You know, like, like I said, it's once in a lifetime opportunity, man. Like I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm loving it. Um, I never really, I haven't really focused on that yet. Um, that the business side of it. Um, I, I'm gonna leave that to my people. I need to focus on my game right now and helping me much better. So, uh, whatever, whenever that happens, it will happen. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna take my time with it. How big of an impact is that? And your decision, I would imagine you have gone pro. Now. It's a really good thing, man. Giving kids this opportunity, you know, um, kids been going through a long time, you know, just coming to college and really working their, their butts off, you know, and I feel like this is really giving them a chance to appreciate it more, you know, like make something of themselves and build, um, build um, relationships with companies and stuff like that, you know, just to grow their brand. Their, their Cody, you're national player of the year and national championship team. I mean, yeah. How big are the goals for you this year? It's big, man. We, we, we don't have a limit to it. Um, it's, 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 it's endless. Um, you know, we're going to keep working. Like I said, um, I, I really like this team. Um, this team is going to give me an opportunity to play with a different team than, I, than I'm used to. And I'm just ready for, for the challenges, man. Kofi, were there any challenges being so close to the NBA and being in that mindset and then kind of flipping back to coming back to college? I mean, that's everyone's dream to get there. Was it hard for you to, to kind of reassess where you were? No, it, was, it wasn't hard. I know, I, know, I know how the process is. I know how to trust the process. I've came a long way. And like, just making that decision, it wasn't hard for me because I know how to say, okay, this is not the best decision. I'm always going to stick to the best decision. You know, I'm never going to rush the rest of things. Um, if, God, if that's the way God wants it, then that's the way it's going to be. So I take, I take things slow. So it wasn't really hard for me. How did you let the coaching staff know that you were coming back? What was that moment like to, to spread that message to them? It was really, I, I was ready to do it like for, for, a little, for a little while before I did it. And when I finally got it out and told them, I was, I just, it was like a relief, you know, like, yeah, like, I get to go back now and let's get right back to work, you know. I was had it like that whole process it was a little bit stressful for me and then after I was able to tell them that I'm coming back here, you know, this is where I belong. It was just like more real like. Coach Underwood mentioned that uh, he was impressed that you were so well conditioned when you came back yesterday, you know, for the workout today. What did you do to stay grounded during that time when you were uh, in the NBA draft and then out? Did you stay uh, obviously uh, training uh, around? I, I just did what I what I always did, you know, um conditioning by myself, you know. I have a great strength coach um, back in Dallas that I was working with. Um, you know, little skills, um, skill sessions, just keep, my, keep myself going, you know, keep my body going, getting that cardio. So it wasn't really hard, just consistency. How do you feel like you have developed in these months as you're preparing for the draft? I've developed a lot, you know, people are going to see it um, this coming year um, while we play. 
Um, you know, I definitely work on, you know, especially my IQ playing from the top of the key. I mean, if you make the right pass, make the right reads. Um, you know, just like up in my motor, I feel it's all mental. You can always be better, you know, so I'm just going to focus on those, those, those things, like I said, and just being able to show the big range, you know, show that I, I touch. What's it like for an All-American when you enter the transfer portal? Like, what's the contact like? It was crazy. Um, you know, it was crazy. It was, it was times where I had to put my phone down, you know, I was getting so much calls and so many, like, you know, so many tweets and, and um, DMs and stuff like that. I had to put my phone down for a couple of days. You know, it, was, it, was, it was incredible. Cool. It was like hearing from Antigua, I know you said Kentucky was a serious option. What was that like, that dynamic? It was, it was interesting, um, you know, um, Antigua is my guy, like I said. And Antigua, he, he, he gave me some really good um, advice, you know, about making my decision. And, like, he's always been there for me, you know. I just felt like I need to give him the opportunity, you know, to, like, prove me and, you know, just how old is that, you know what I'm saying? Coach, what was maybe your biggest takeaway from going through the, the NBA process? My biggest takeaway? Um, you know, like, for, first when I was going in there, I was, like, kind of like, oh, yeah, like, this is a big step for me, and then when I, when I got to that, got to doing the process, you know, it's like it got to working out, got to like got to go to the G League combine and stuff. I just felt like I belonged there, you know, like I felt like I could play here. So uh, that was really like interesting, you know, that, that kind of boosted my confidence and made me you know, okay, if I come back here now and I do what I need to do, I'm I'm ready. Like I feel like I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? You and Kyle had a really good relationship. But is it exciting for you in a way to know that this is kind of your program, you're the face of it now, and it's you? Yeah, it's really exciting, and it's not just me, you know. Like like I, I get what you're saying. And, it's just me telling you, like, it's not, it's not going to be just me. I have really good players around me. Andre Cabello is going to be a really, really good player. Might be an All-American. Um, you know, Trent Fraser is like, well, you guys for five years now. He's about, about to be five years. Demonte Williams, like, my team is a really, really good player. I think they're going to see that. Well, how would you describe the relationship with Jeff Alexander? How did that progress throughout the entire process? I have a really good relationship with him. He was one of the main reasons I came back here. I mean, just be, being around me, you know, showing me, yo, this is family, this is home, you know. It's giving me that support throughout the process, you know. And I've, I've, I've built up a really good relationship with him over the years. You know, he's helped me work with my game the whole summer before I went to Dallas. And, you know, we just want to keep working. Kofi, Would you say the lot. NBA doubts you? I mean, does, does the NBA think you're not ready? Do you, does that make you hungry for wrong a little bit? Um, I wouldn't say, I'm, I wouldn't say they doubt me, but, like, you know, it's always things you can work on, you know, as a player. And, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a developing player, you know. I just started playing basketball five years ago. I have a long way to go, you know. I definitely feel like I'm ready. I have the most confidence in the world, you know. I trust my, I trust the process, I trust myself, and I trust, I put trust in my work, you know. I'm, I'll get there. So, Kofi, can you walk us? I'm really excited, man. I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I, I see what he can do, I see how, how he plays, and like, the person that he put me in. I'm just excited, I'm ready to go. Kofi, what is it like to have a whole community, a whole state, literally waiting, and, and they all celebrated a lot when you announced you were coming out. What's that like for you to experience that kind of attention and fanfare and excitement? It's incredible, man, and that's the reason I was here. I could came in the first place, you know, just being here on my, on my visit and seeing that, that fan base, you know, coming out. It was a Christmas break when I came here, and all the fans were here, everybody from the hometown. The kids were off campus, but the stadium was still packed, and, like, that just, like, gave me a sense of, you know, these people really care about basketball. They really care about uh, Illinois, you know, and, like, it's, it keeps going, you know, it keeps getting better and better as we, as we progress. Um, through the past two years, and it's, it's really exciting, man. They're great people. How do you describe it? Because like, none of us really know what that is like. But like everywhere you go, I'm assuming people want to say hi or welcome back. How do you describe what these few days have been like? It's really hard to it's really hard to describe, man. It's incredible, man. Like that's, that's the love, you know. It's like even when I put myself in, I put my name in chat support. I didn't get any bad comments. I didn't get any hate. They were really supportive of, um, towards me, and I really appreciate that. What was it like walking into this building again today? Maybe at one point you didn't think you'd come back as a player. And what's it like you know, flipping the mentality of I'm going pro to I got another year here? I was trying to be cool walking in, but like <laughs> once I got through those doors, man, I, got, I got so pumped, man. I, I just felt like a bunch of energy, energy soaring through my body. Like I was ready to go. I got on the court for the first time in a long time with them, and I was just so excited. I was trying to go. I was, I was ready to go, man. I, I loved it. Kobe, it's rare that somebody with your resume already comes back for a third year. Ohio did the same thing. What do you think, what did you see from him about what a third year can mean for you? Yeah. It's about being humble, like I said, trust, trusting your game, you know, and it's like, not rushing things, you know. A lot of guys, I see a lot, a lot of, I heard a lot of stories about guys that just rush, rush things and they, and they put themselves in bad situations. I'm, I'm really, I want to put myself in a good situation where I can be successful and, and help build my games for a long time. So I'll, I'll give myself that chance. There's a question about some stuff that yeah, you sold from some previous gear. Is that a big obstacle right now? Not really. We're working through it. You know, I leave that to coach and, and then stop. Yeah, is there any worst case scenario that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of. I'm just focused on basketball right now. <laughs> I leave that to 
I think that's a coach. Man. Is it safe to say without, what impact did NIL have on you coming back to college, whether it was here or anywhere else? It had a, it had a really big impact, you know. Um, one of my, that's one of my main goals, you know, for working this hard, you know, obviously financial reasons. I want my help, I want to have my family put me in good situations and the NIL really gave me a chance to really, to get a deep breath, you know, take a deep breath, like, let relax now, make sure you're making the right decision, that like, you don't got to rush nothing, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely gave me like, that, that wake up call, like, yeah, you, you could possibly go back to college, like, you can think about it now. And does it open up opportunities for you in Jamaica too? Yeah, it definitely did. You know, Jamaica, they, they support me a lot. You know, that's my country. I'm, I'm representing them. I think I, I think I'm representing them well. <laughs> you know, so that definitely is going to open up opportunities for me back home. Yeah. Kobe, it's, uh, you know, obviously you want to get to the NBA as, as quickly as possible, but does this open up a path where college basketball can be a career opportunity yeah, that's for guys? Yeah, like, hundred percent, hundred percent. A lot of guys that that, that want to go pro early, and they, this is going to give them a lot of chance to say, okay, I don't need to rush it. Like, Keep them level-headed, like, yeah, I can stay here, develop my game, get better, give myself the best opportunity, like I said, you know, while making money. So definitely give them. You mentioned Jamaica. I think there was a mural of you there. What is, I mean, you're new to basketball, right? But because of basketball, I'm assuming that's part of the reason you have that. What was that like to see that? What kind of emotion came over you? It was incredible, man. I cried, man. I cried when I saw that, man. It was really incredible. Like, just knowing that my community supported me all the way through. They, they sent me videos of them watching the game, and it's uh, how pumped they are. We celebrate different back home. It's a lot more like banging and a lot more screaming and jumping. <laughs> and like, it was just incredible, man. Every, after every game, you know, just them sending me those videos, supporting me, like texting me, my cousin texting me, like, you know, everybody was watching today. It's just a great feeling, you know? Is, is that real to you yet, that basketball, something you just started in the last decade, has kind of put you in this position with this earning potential, with this following? I'm really aware, man, and that, that's, keep, that, that's keep me level-headed, that's keep me humble. Because I know how much better I got in such a short period of time, and I know how much better I could get. And I always remember where I came from, you get what I'm saying? So that definitely has a huge part of to play in who I am and you know what I stand for. Kofi, your jersey's going to be in the Raptors someday. What's that mean to you? It means the world, man. You know, it's, like I said, it's rare a kid get to leave his legacy like that. And to know that my, my jersey will be in that Raptors for a very long time. And like people are going to come, and even when I pass, people are going to come and people are going to see that jersey and say, that's Kofi Colbert. He did something special here. That's incredible. You and Omar were in the same class. Were you familiar with him at all? And how do you feel like you guys can you know, team up together? Omar's a really good player. I think Omar, he's really talented, he's really skilled. I don't think he was able to show that. Um, you know, people are going to start seeing that, like I said, when we start playing. I think Omar's really special towards this team. And like, he gives us a depth you know, like, that, we, that we really need. And he's going to do a great thing this year. You mentioned you know, maybe this year's team could be a little bit different than last year's and just as good. What do you like about you know, the group? Um, last year we were more of a two-point, um, two-point field goal team. I mean, you know, we shot bad to three. I think these guys right now they're really good three-point shooters. Like probably the best I've seen. You know, the Alfonso coming in, Luke's a really good shooter. Trent Green's a really good shooter. Demonte was the best shooter in college basketball last year. You know, just giving us that, that, that extra like, like space. You know. Kofi, how much of you coming back is getting over that hump in the NCAA tournament, getting rid of that stain? That's from the loyal loss. Yeah, it definitely gave me a chance to come back on. Um, like, that was one of the things I was thinking about while I decided, like, do I want to leave Illinois on that, on that loss? You know, like, that was really important to me. Like, I want to leave Illinois while putting something big and doing something special. You know what I'm saying? At least, like, taking us, like, as far as I can. You know, so like, that, that was definitely one of the reasons I decided, yeah, this is a good thing coming back here. You and I have talked a lot, or some, during the process last year about decisions. Did you talk to him at all before you're making yours this yeah. time? What was that like? For him? It, was, it was good. You know, like I communicate with him. He told me what teams thought. You know, like you know, teams asked me about him, and teams asked him about me, and like you know, we just communicate. And like it's like yeah, you know, teams have this, this, that, that. You know, and like me and I, we support each other. You know, we're really good on the phone a lot. You know, we text a lot. Like he's one of my best friends. You know, so it was just like just us throughout the whole process, whether or not we was in the same state. This is a really big process. Did you learn anything about yourself over the last four months, five months? Yeah, I did. You know, I just learned how much, how much, how much more I could work. You know, like, I, you know, every every level you get and every stage you take in life, you think you you're putting the most work you can, and then you realize that yo, you could really be doing much more. You know, this could give me a chance to realize that yo, you could be in the gym three times a day, four times a day if you really wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So like, this gave me a, gave me the opportunity to think about that and, and realize that yo, there's more work to be done. You know, humble yourself and put the work in. After a year with no fans, uh, season tickets are on sale. You got a, got a message for Illini fans and, and, and a thought of State Farm Center with fans? Yeah, man, get ready to lose your mind, man. <laughs> yeah, right now, get ready to lose your mind. <laughs> Kofi, on Sunday is Jamaica against USA in soccer. Do you have any uh, predictions for us? <laughs> You're putting me in a spot right here, man. <laughs> you know, that's Jamaica's my country, man. I got Jamaica all the way, you know. Like, yeah. Really good players on that team, and I'll, I'll, I'll be tuned in. All right. Kofi, how quickly do you... 
there's a lot of projections about what you can do, player of the year, All-American, things like that, the team as well. And how much of that do you, I guess, put stock in? And how much do you just, I guess, go it away and just focus on the moment? I just am aware that, you know, that's, that's, that's part of it. You know, you want to be the best you can be. You want to achieve all those things. But like, I'm a winner first, man, you know. When I started playing this game, I, I, was, I, wasn't as, I wasn't as good as most kids, but I always wanted to win, and that's what got me here. So that's my goal right now, you know, come back to Illinois. Like I said, cementing my legacy. Even if I don't get third of the year, I want to win something big. I want to do something big for Illinois, you know, to leave my legacy. We just kept on talking with Brad. He's always been high on Coleman and what he can do. What do you think is possible for him? Coleman, yeah. Coleman's a, he's an incredible player. I don't think people realize how good he is. I don't think he knows how good he is. I think he's, he has the opportunity to be one of the best line I've played ever. If he, you know, the smoke and stuff, and just keep working, you know, he's, he's a really good player. He's really talented, shoots the ball really well. He's a, he's a six ten guard, basically. And he's a, people are going to start seeing it, like I said. It's just, it's just about time. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.